Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. So for today's video, we're going to be doing an applique video. So I'm pretty much going to walk you through start to end of making an applique on the embroidery machine, embroidering an applique, whatever you want to call it. So let's get started. So for this video, I'm going to be embroidering out one of the new designs on our website, kidscustomdesigns.com. It's going to be the elephant design. So we'll go ahead and make that. Like I said, I'm going to be walking you through start to finish so you guys can see exactly how I do the appliques and how you can make them as well. <clears throat> so we're going to use this elephant design. It's available at kidscustomdesigns.com. And we are going to make it a number two birthday shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and import a number two along with the elephant. So let me find a number two. So this is the number two I'm going to use. And here's the elephant. So because this shirt is going to be I'm making it for a girl, I'm going to make the elephant's ears, the inside of the ears, pink. So let me select those ears. I'm going to change those to pink. Isn't that so cute, guys? Oh, my gosh. Um, and then I am going to change the two to a pink outline to match. So let me go ahead and change that. Okay. This is what we have so far. And I'm going to scoot this over a little bit. And I'm not going to be putting a name on the shirt because it's going to be a new design for my shop. Let me zoom in a little bit. I think that is a little better for you guys. I want to switch two out first. I'm going to go ahead and move the two underneath. I mean, the elephant underneath. So it's going to switch the two first. And then after that, it's going to do the elephant. Okay, so I went ahead and I changed the feet to pink as well. So for the inside number two, I'm thinking of a pink and white polka dot. So I'm going to be using pink and white polka dot fabric. And then I will be using this sketchy gray, if it focuses, this sketchy gray fabric for the elephant. So like I said, there's not going to be a name on this one because I don't have, it's not an order for somebody. So just gonna, I'm just going to make a stock design. So I'm going to go ahead and file, save stitch file as. And I'm going to name it Elephant. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my embroidery machine. So before we start embroidering, we're going to need a few things. So we are going to need, obviously, the t-shirt. I'm going to use a 2T t-shirt because it's going to be a number two shirt. We need the fabrics. We need uh, scissors to cut the fabrics. And uh, the hoop I'm going to use is a Mighty Hoop. Um, you get this... Um, from Hoopmaster, or well, I know a lot of other uh, sewing shops do sell them, but I get mine. I got mine from Hoopmaster Midwest, something like that. So I'm gonna need this. I already have my embroidery machine and all my threads set up on the machine. Um, and very important, we are going to need the heat and bond. This is what it is, what it looks like. Heat and bond, um, heat and bond light, and this is for the fabric. So we're gonna heat this onto. The pieces of fabric is actually already on this piece. So you can see it's shiny on the back. We're going to heat it onto the fabrics. And then when we're done with the shirt, we heat the front of the shirt as well so it sticks to the fabric. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Also, you can get the heat and bond light at Joann's if you need a little piece. Or it will be linked down below for a big bolt like this, which is about $38, I believe, on sale right now. Um, and uh, you can get it on Amazon. Link down below. Okay, so to start, I have my 2T t-shirt here. I'm going to go ahead and lay it flat. If you haven't already seen my video on how to hoop shirts, how I hoop my shirts and onesies, go ahead and watch that. It is a few videos ago. I'll try to link it in the description. So I have the shirt flat and I'm going to go ahead and use my magnetic hoop. I'm going to put it inside of the shirt. And I am then going to go ahead and put the top of the shirt hoop on. And I like to tighten my shirt, so I will pull it a little bit, the bottom, and at each side. And that is how I hook my shirts. So then I will go ahead and put this on the machine. Before I do that, I also want to go ahead and get my fabrics ready. So 
I have this fabric I'm going to use for the elephant and I'm going to cut a piece out. So here is what the fabric looks like. If it'll focus, probably won't focus. Here's the fabric, so I'm going to go ahead and put heat and bond on this. And I will also need a pink and white polka dot. And I'm going to be using this pink and white polka dot fabric. So as you can see, I do have some wrinkles on this fabric, but I'm going to go ahead and heat it on my heat press so it'll take the wrinkles out, and I'm going to put the heat and bond on it. Let me cut the heat and bond. I really just eyeball my heat and bond, and I will place it on here. And then the gray piece. Okay, so we have our two pieces. Now you place the, there's a rough side, so you place the rough side down, and then you heat it. So to heat it, I put it inside of a Teflon sheet. So I'll do this one first, the pink of my polka dot. I will go ahead and heat it. I have it set at 315 degrees, and I will just heat it for three seconds. And you let it cool off for a second and then you can just peel. Hate the second one. So they are now both heated. So now that both are heated, all you do is just peel it off and now you see the back is shiny. That is the heating bond on it. You peel it off both pieces. And now let's go ahead and put these shirts on the embroidery machine. Okay, well my camera doesn't want to focus, it's so dark, but I'm sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the design up, hit the flash drive button, and I named it Elephant. So here's the elephant design, and I'm going to rotate it because it's sideways. I want it the other way. Rotate it, and I'm going to put it all at the top. And then I'm going to add all my stops in, so because it's an applique. And those are all my stops, and I'm going to click embroider. So it tells me it's going to take 23 minutes to stitch out, and it's also telling me the colors, so white on the first needle, I mean gray on the first needle, pink on the second needle, white on the third needle, but I'm going to change that because um, I have white on the second needle, I have black on the third needle, and pink is on the fifth needle. So I have it all set up, and now I just need to go ahead and put my shirt on. So I'm going to put my shirt on. A lot of you guys ask about the stabilizer. This is when I put the stabilizer on, right after I put the shirt on here. So it slides right in. And... I use tearaway stabilizer. That's what works best for me. A lot of people don't, but that's what I use and it works well. And I just placed it right underneath. So it's gonna, that it gets attached because when I sew, it sews the shirt and the stabilizer together just like that. So I don't need any sprays for my multi needle. I also will be doing a video. <clears throat> I will be doing a video on the multi, my machines, my multi needles. Um, just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and I will be doing that soon, guys. Soon. Okay, I'm trying to adjust the, the lighting because it's very dark, but I'm doing what I can. Okay, so we have all the colors set up, so now we're just going to go ahead and let it start stitching out. Uh, 
So you'll see what it's first going to do is it's going to stitch out the, uh, the outline of the two and that is going to tell you where you put your fabric to go inside of the number two. Okay, so now it is done stitching the outline and we're going to go ahead and place the fabric for the number two. So it's just like that and lock start. And now it's going to stitch on top of number two, so stitch another two so that you know where to cut your fabric. So now we're going to go ahead and cut our number two out. I use these Fisker curved scissors. I have them linked down below. These are the best for cutting appliques. So I like to start at the bottom and I cut as close to the thread as possible. As you can see, the closer you cut to the thread, the better. And I turn the hoop versus turning my whole body and you cut as close as possible. If you don't cut real close to the line, your design will come out uh, a little fuzzy, meaning like there's going to be threads around and it's not going to look as clean. So cut as close as possible. So as you can see, I cut very close to the lines. And now it is time to go back on the machine. Okay, it is now back on the machine. And now it is going to go ahead and stitch out the outline. Well, stitch out the satin stitch for the two. So now it's going to make the outline for the elephant. And again, this is where we're going to be putting the gray fabric on top. So it's just showing us where we place the fabric. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the fabric on top again and it's going to stitch on top and that stitch is to show us where we cut it. So 
Now I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Let's go ahead and cut this out. Then you cut as close to the lines as you can. So we have it all cut out and now we're going to put it back on the machine. And it's going to And it is going to stitch out all the way to the end. A hiccup so we have to watch the machines because obviously the thread got stuck right there so let me go ahead and cut that Okay, so we have finished our shirt, finished our design. It's all stitched out, as you can see. It's stitched out beautifully. And you can get this design right here, the elephant at kidscustomdesigns.com. I think it is so cute. My husband actually digitized this one. And I believe it's on sale for a dollar or a dollar fifty, something like that. So now I'm gonna take it off the hoop. So it is now off the hoop. And now what I do is I will go ahead and put the shirt inside out. And I will cut the threads off of here. Cut. It's not that many. Cut, cut. Cut it on the eyes. Cut the little extra threads. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. 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 Blow. Um, I'm not super picky about this, but they're all cut. And because this is a tear away, I literally will use these. Oh, here's a thread right here. I will always, I usually tear from the top of the number and I usually hold the stitching. Just hold it just, just in case. And it just tears that easily. And I never tear here. I just, ugh, I just tear straight down. I try to avoid that. And it tears straight across. And again, I hold 
because I don't want to stretch the, the, uh, the stitching out just in case. I'm just in case person. I like to be safe. And tear around. And keep tearing and tearing and tearing and tearing. So it is torn. I just crumble this up and throw it in the trash. So this is... Ooh, this is what it looks like. Like I said, I never pull any stabilizer out from in between the designs because when you go to heat heat it it'll become a huge wrinkle in the middle of the shirt and it'll be impossible to get out so i always leave the stabilizer here and there you go as you can see so now i need to tenor touch it so tenor touch is a soft backing that you heat on the back of the embroidery so that it doesn't irritate little babies little kids skin um and it protects the stitching so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that so how I like to do it is I just flatten the shirt, mm -mm. try to get all the wrinkles out, especially around the design, and I like to heat it for about one second first, one. and again flatten it again. That way it makes it flat and it gets all the wrinkles out of the shirt that I can't get out with my hands. And then. I'm just going to place the tender touch. That is what this is. You can get this. I have also linked this down below in the description on Amazon. So I will put it on the shirt. Make sure it covers all the stitching. And again, I smooth it out to make sure there's no wrinkles. And then I heat it for five seconds on 315 degrees. You can also use an iron with this. I know a lot of people already do. That's how I started too. If you do not have a heat press. And this is what it looks like. If it'll focus, it looks like. And I will turn it inside out, or I guess right side in. This is what it looks like. Ooh. Focus, and I'm going to heat the front of it now for five seconds as well. Again, we're gonna smooth it out. And heat it for five seconds. Here is the shirt. Okay, so here's how the shirt turned out. I think it turned out so cute. Ugh, make it all uh, close up so you can see. They stitch out perfectly, guys. Wow. We did a great job. So, <clears throat> the shirt is now officially done. It's been heated. Everything's done. It is just ready to be folded and packaged. But this is not an order, so this is going to get photographed for my... Uh, Etsy shop, Kids Custom Designs. I did want to say thank you guys so much for all your support so far um, on our embroidery designs. If you would take pictures of the designs once you stitch them out and email them to me at kidscustomdesigns at gmail.com. I love to see my, my work, my husband's work uh, come to life. Also, if you guys would like to be testers for our designs, go ahead and comment down below and I'll reach out to you guys. Um, you can email me with some of your work, some of your pictures um, that, you take, that you guys take of your items so that we can go ahead and choose some of you guys to be our test stitchers, sewers, embroiderers, whatever the word is. Also, um, with our designs online, since you know we are very brand new at, at digitizing, it's been about a week maybe um, of digitizing, so um, some designs have some quirks, some kinks. So just so you know, if you do buy something and you see something that's not right, it doesn't stitch out the way you like it, just email us and we will uh, make a revision. So like today, the Olaf got re-uploaded. So a lot of you guys have purchased the Olaf and a lot of the other designs and we just went ahead and uploaded the new design and sent emails to everybody who already bought Olaf. So anytime there's an issue, we will send out a new updated file. You'll get an email. Here's Riley. What? What do you need? The door is closed. So go ahead and check out our designs at kidscustomdesigns.com. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. And if you have anything you would like us to digitize or any, any ideas you guys have, just go ahead and comment them down below. She's here. She's made it. She's entered. I can't, the, I can't see the blog. Uno.
dos, tres, say hola. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's watching? Bye. Oh, Miley. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Bye.